Hey there, pirates. Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. Guys, during chapter 1059 of the One Piece manga, we witnessed the revelation of an unexpected battle. Boa Hancock and her Kuja pirates were being attacked by the crew of a Yonko, Marshall D. Teach. I hope for your support to help our crew win, and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit, so just comment which fruit you want. The chapter finally showed us what happened to Hancock after Kobe and the Marines tried to invade the island to capture her. It turns out that Blackbeard took advantage of the chaos to invade the island as well, as he wanted Hancock's devil fruit. The Blackbeard pirate's hunt for powerful devil fruits came to light after the time skip, but Blackbeard had never been shown going to another location personally to get his hands on an Akuma no Mi. This implies that the fruit Boa Hancock consumed has something very special hidden in its powers. As far as we know, the Miro Mero no Mi has the ability to turn its opponents into stone and operates on any impure feelings her opponents might have toward her. Although it was stated that it only affects living beings, one of Hancock's attacks was able to turn a pacifist's head into stone. Therefore, this devil fruit might actually be effective against both living and non-living beings. However, Blackbeard went after her because he wanted the power of that fruit. In the end, the battle was brutal, and Boa Hancock managed to petrify two of Blackbeard's top commanders, but she was on the verge of losing the battle when Rayleigh appeared and mediated the conflict. However, there's something deeper in these events. Hancock realized that she's facing great dangers, not for herself, but for the women she needs to protect the inhabitants of Amazon Lily. With the Marines wanting to capture her, and with enemy pirates, like a Yonko who desires the power of her devil fruit, Boa Hancock has become a danger to the people she wishes to protect. For this reason, the best thing she could do is fight against those who mean her harm. In fact, protecting the inhabitants of Amazon Lily was the main reason she became one of the warlords, a Shichibukai, and allied with the Marines when the group of pirates was active. This alliance ensured that the organization didn't attempt to capture her allies, and with the renown she gained as a warlord, no one dared to attack her territory. After all, the Shichibukai were one of the three powers created to rival a Yonko. But now, even the organization she allied with is pursuing her, and at this moment, having her own crew could put her allies in danger. For this reason, it would make more sense for her to join the crew of someone who shares a common rivalry with her enemies, and that person would be Luffy. Firstly, talking about Blackbeard, we know that he was the cause of Ace, Luffy's brother, losing his life, and Hancock witnessed all of this up close. After all, it was she who took Luffy to Impel Down after he was sent by Kuma to Amazon Lily. So, this entire confrontation initially makes it seem like Boa Hancock and Luffy have a common enemy, but they have more common enemies than we might initially see. Another major common enemy between Luffy and Boa Hancock is the world government. We saw during episode 278 that Luffy declared war on them to protect Robin in the memorable moment of I want to live when Soga King burned the flag. We know that Luffy and Egghead was attacked by the five elders, the Gorosi, who are the highest ranking world nobles, all because of the revelations that would be made by Vegapunk, which the Straw Hat pirates tried to protect. In the end, one of the most striking moments that united the crew was when Luffy attacked a world noble during episode 390 of One Piece. On the Sabadi archipelago, Luffy discovered how those who believed themselves to be gods in the world acted, and on that day, he attacked one of the world nobles without fearing the consequences, a way to show that he wouldn't allow those people to do whatever they wanted. And for those who don't know, this ties directly into Boa Hancock's story. When Hancock was 12 years old, she and her sisters were included in the crew of the Kuja pirates and were sailing on their ship when suddenly, they were captured by villains and sold to the world nobles. During her time, being forced to serve the Celestial Dragons, Boa Hancock was forced to eat the devil fruit she possesses today. They did this thinking she could use the Miro Mero no Mi to entertain those monsters. The three sisters suffered the most unimaginable horrors. Four years later, a man named Fisher Tiger appeared. And while his goal was to free the fishmen, he decided to free everyone. Fisher Tiger liberated as many as he could without discrimination. However, now the three sisters had no place to go and had lost hope, but they were finally rescued by Gloriosa, Silver's Rayleigh, and Shakuyaku, who took them back home. But the suffering they endured and what they lived through at the hands of the world nobles would never be forgotten. Moreover, the mark of the celestial dragon, the symbol of the world nobles, was burned deeply into their flesh. 
And as we've seen, Hancock chose to hide the mark and her powers, telling her Kuja companions that it was the punishment for killing a Gorgon monster, with her, Marigold, and Sandersonia collectively gaining the nickname of Gorgon Sisters. Because if the truth were revealed, the three wouldn't have anywhere to go. The fact that Luffy didn't change his attitude towards Boa Hancock when he saw that mark engraved on her skin was one of the reasons she fell in love with him. And now, back in the present, Hancock couldn't stay in peace on Amazon Lily, and she doesn't believe she'll have the luck of meeting Rayleigh again in an unexpected battle like before. For that, it would be best for her to fight alongside people who also intend to face the same enemies. And the Straw Hats would certainly accept her without a second thought. Luffy even feels indebted to Boa Hancock, and even though he may not fully understand her true feelings, he holds her in high regard. Luffy likes her a lot, especially because he feels grateful for how she took him to try and save Ace, and also how she went against her contractors, the Marines, to protect him. Not only that, but Luffy also noticed how his suffering was acknowledged and generated empathy in the Empress. That day, a bond was born between the two, along with a great friendship. Thus, Luffy would immediately be furious when he finds out that Blackbeard attacked Boa Hancock, and he certainly wouldn't reject her request to join the Straw Hat Pirates as a way to confront the Yonko, and also as a way to protect the inhabitants of Amazon Lily, who sheltered Luffy during the time skip when he needed support the most. Moreover, few people have destinies as aligned with the Straw Hats as we can see in Boa Hancock's fate, where all of her enemies are also enemies of the Straw Hat Pirates. In this way, her union with Luffy's crew is very plausible, something that all the Straw Hat Pirates could accept, especially after learning Boa Hancock's story. It's also worth noting that even if Boa Hancock's crew, the Kuja Pirates, continues to operate, we can imagine that there are more ways for her to increase the power of her crew by joining the Straw Hat Pirates, this time by joining the Grand Fleet of the Straw Hat Pirates. After all, by joining this group, she would now be part of the fleet of a Yonko like Blackbeard. And we know that Luffy currently has over 5,600 members, and all of them would unite if one of the leading crews of the Grand Fleet were attacked. In fact, this is also an interesting point to consider between Shanks and Bartolomeo. After all, Shanks is after Bartolomeo, but a confrontation between them might never happen because an attack by Shanks on Bartolomeo would mean an attack on the Straw Hat Pirates' fleet. But going back, the battle between Luffy and the World Nobles, or the battle between Luffy and Blackbeard's crew will happen, and it makes a lot of sense for Boa Hancock to join Luffy's crew for this confrontation. The connection between Boa Hancock and Rayleigh, and the revelations that came after her rescue, show us that she could indeed join Luffy, just as Shaki joined Rayleigh, which could be a hint that she would fight alongside the Straw Hat Pirates. But now, we want to know what you think about this. Comment below! That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.